Hello everyone, it's Karen. It's been a while since I've been on here, but today I am making Epicure's Shepherd's Pie. I've had this one in um, my cupboard for a while and I thought I would bring it out today since we're having company for dinner. And I'm gonna make something a little bit different. So let me show you how I make it. First of all, you dump the package uh, seasoning in with a cup and a quarter, one and a quarter cup of water. Whisk it up. I use my little four cup prep bowl for that. It's perfect size. And my mini whisk. And then you um, boil some potatoes. Um, it calls for two pounds of potatoes. Or you can do it on the stove top in your multi-purpose pot, which I'll show you. This awesome pot here. I love the stay cool handle. It's ergonomically uh, better for your arm. And it has a pour spout on the end. And it has measurements inside in cups and liters. And it has this amazing lid. Hang on a second. A glass lid. And um, it has this cool little rubber thing so you can take the lid off without needing a hot mat. And you can see through because it's glass. And the best part about this is it has two types of strainers on either side, large and small holes. So when you're done boiling your potatoes, you just pour them out into the sink and you don't have to mess up another container. So I've already mashed up my potatoes and what I've done in my awesome wok here from Epicure is I've ground up, I actually did a double batch of meat because I like to make bigger batches and I find the seasonings are um, so awesome that you can usually double up the meat or make a little bit more than what the recipe calls for. So I've put in one pound of ground beef and a pound of ground pork fried it up in here and um, just chopped it up with my, I don't think I have it with me, but my ground meat separator. If you don't have one of those, it's awesome to make the little chunks of meat. And then once that's cooked, you add in your seasoning that you've mixed with water, bring it to a boil, and then you add in some vegetables, cooked, uh, frozen vegetables is what I've used, just a mixed vegetable. And then you just um, cook it until that those vegetables have softened. So what I thought I would do, instead of just making a, a pie-shaped shepherd's pie, I like to make smaller portions and freeze them up. So sometimes when my kids come home for a meal or if I just want something on my own, I'm gonna make it in my muffin makers. So these come in a set of two. They're silicone and um, they're great. You can make muffins or meatloafs or egg bites in your microwave or in your stove. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my quarter cup scoop we have a two tablespoon and a quarter cup, great for Christmas baking. I'm gonna take the quarter cup scoop. I'm gonna scoop almost a full scoop in there of the meat mixture. And then I'm going to put about one scoop on top of potato. Now, if you're really fancy, you can put your potato into a piping bag and let it come out all swirly like that and then if you want your potatoes to brown a bit you can put a tiny bit of butter on top and then let me turn this down a little bit of butter on top of the potatoes and then put it back in the oven for maybe like five ten minutes do not put it under the broiler if you're using your silicone items though because those will wreck them so um, it will brown the potatoes and then when they're all done you can pop them out like a little meat pie and you can freeze them up if you want and just take out one or two out of the freezer so that's what I'm making today. I thought it was a pretty cool idea. I've seen somebody else make it before, so I thought I would give it a go. Um, we're having people today and tomorrow, so I thought this way I've got some that I can put for tomorrow night and they still look pretty. It's not one pie that's been totally opened with, um, that's been, sorry, a slice has been taken out of it and it looks ugly for the next person's meal. It looks pretty then because we haven't touched the one that I'm going to give them tomorrow. Oops, got some veggies in there. Anyways, that's what I'm making today for supper. Um, if you need anything before Christmas, the December 13th is the cutoff date. If you're buying gifts for anybody or Christmas baking, um, message me right away or you can order from my website as well. There's lots of new products. There are some items that are back ordered um, or out of stock currently. So I know it's a little frustrating, but they're doing their best to bring them back into stock as soon as possible. And there is a new catalog coming out because now they have four catalogs a year. So a new one coming out in a few weeks as well. 
So um, get whatever you love out of the catalog now and before it's gone in the next catalog. And yeah, looking forward to seeing what's going to be new. I hope you're all um, having a great holiday season and getting as you get ready for Christmas if you celebrate. And um, yeah, that's what I'm doing this week. I'm going to be wrapping gifts and baking. We have some awesome gluten-free baking mixes as well, like shortbread. There's a new cranberry lemon loaf mix, which is absolutely delicious as well. And you can make those in your little muffin makers here as well, if you want small ones, or in the perfect petites, which is the large sheet. Here, I have it here, I think. I just washed it. It's a little wet, but there you go. It's got 30 individual little rectangle loaf. And then you can pop those out for snacks for school or um, put them in the freezer and just pop one or two out when you'd like your own little snack. So there you go. That's Shepherd's Pie and I hope you have a great day. See ya.